All right then, everybody. Welcome back again, again. Because this is like the third or fourth time, I think, we have restarted Celeste in some fashion on the stream because this game is the game that keeps on giving. But welcome back again to the mountain, to Celeste. Someone is watching the VODs out there of my Celeste playthrough, like, in order, and that I sound like a different person across every single, like, section, I would imagine. But this is a little bit special, this is a little bit different. First off, well, this is my save game. For anyone who doesn't know, we, we completed Celeste. I had fucking shitloads of deaths, 14,000 deaths. Um, nearly 48 hours played. We, we did all the A, B, and C sides. We did Chapter 9, Farewell. The only thing I haven't really done in this game are the golden strawberry challenges because fuck that uh that sounds like fun if you are a masochist but i don't want to do that for anyone who doesn't know the golden strawberries are they start you at the start of a level with a strawberry and you have to get it all the way to the end without dying or you don't get it so you have to do every single room in a level without dying once and that sounds awful that sounds like a good way for that counter to get up to 100,000. So fuck that. Not doing that. But anyway, besides the point, we're not playing regular Celeste today. We are going to be playing something called Strawberry Jam. Now, Strawberry Jam is a massive community mod effort. They've made over 100 levels. Like 50 different composers have gotten together and made all the music for it. Loads of custom sprite work and stuff. They've basically made Celeste 2. More or less. Um, and they've split it into five different difficulties, which is why I said in the pre-stream, I don't know if how much of this I'll be able to play. So there is a beginner lobby we're going to be starting off with. It goes to an intermediate lobby, which I, I think intermediate is probably where I'm going to be, like, challenged and maybe not able to progress too much further after that. Um, but it goes all the way up to, like, a speedrunner's lobby, essentially, to, like, a grandmaster lobby where you're having to learn, like, frame-perfect speedrunning tricks. And it actually teaches you that stuff in the game, which is pretty cool. Uh, Maelstrom. Champ. That's, that's my name. Sounds like a massive project. It is. It's been in the works for like multiple years. Um, and it's very fucking cool. It's a very cool thing they've done. So we're going to turn it on. This is a mod, obviously. So we are using like mod launchers and stuff. But to be honest, if I hadn't told people this was a mod and just said Celeste 2 came out and you didn't know chat and you were none the wiser, you would probably believe me because it just looks like Celeste 2. Um... Obviously there are some reused assets, such as Madeline herself, but... From what I understand, like, a vast majority of the game is just new stuff, which is pretty fucking cool. So, I haven't played Celeste now in, um, I haven't played Celeste now in a couple of years, so I'm going to be very rusty. Bear in mind, I have booted this up briefly just to make sure it worked and it was in installed and stuff, so I, I remember how to control the game somewhat. But yes, I, uh, I've definitely not really sunk my teeth back into Celeste since we stopped playing the, the Seasides in Chapter 9, which I have done the hardest thing in this game base that isn't the Golden Strawberry stuff. It's the hardest level, which is Chapter 9 Farewell. We did it. It's done, but I'm no speedrunner, so we're gonna we're gonna struggle when it starts to ask me to do some of that shit. Oh, look at look at us go, up we go. But yeah, it's like um a ton of new tracks. No repeat levels from the base game or anything. They're all new levels. It's such an effort, like such a project. It's kind of insane thinking about it. 
We'll watch the credits when we're done. Why has this music got me on hold of my bin company? What do you mean, Morbo? What's welcome welcoming? Are you saying this music's, like, on hold music? Because that's, that's very reductive. <laughs> I think it sounds good. How do I do... There it is. War bounce. That was the thing I kept calling wounce and everyone didn't like it. Because someone came into my chat and was like, that's a war bounce. Or some people call it wounce, but don't do that. So then I did it. I'm underwater. It does that thing way when you're underwater, the music changes, which I think every game should do. Hey, I didn't say I didn't like hold music. <laughs> Who the fuck likes hold music? There's someone out there who's like, fuck yeah, that's my genre. Can I get up there? Feels like I should be able to get up there. Like if I just climb up. Yeah. I don't really know if there's any point to exploring this little starting area, but why not? Oh, there's an arrow, look! Oh, you sneaky little buggers. Have they hidden something in the first zone? Development of the prologue was led by Aiden... or Aiden... Coffee. Nefford and Snolls. Art oh, was created by Bissy. Okay, here you go. There's your kind of credits chat. Bissy, Circumplex, Coffee, Earthwise, Mosken, or Mosken, Neozoid, Nerfurd, Frog, Power AV, and Snolls. Monument sprites were both created by Neozoid. Stylegrounds created by Nerfurd. Music was composed by Benjamin, Bipmo, Bopmo, Caterpillar, and Seth. Decoration by Bissy and Coffee. Camera designed by Coffee. Additional polish done by Aiden, Bryson, and Legs. Special thanks to Coffee to Layout Design, Nerd for the logo, and Aiden for code. Good job, guys. I mean, I haven't played any of it yet, but I found your credits. So. Can you get up there? Oh, I could probably do like a... Yeah, I could do a wall jump off that. Get me up there. Today's special strawberry latte. I hope you enjoy. Can I go in? I want to enter. I want Brazilian coffee. Alright, anyway. I think uh, this is extra shit I'm finding, by the way. I'm pretty sure they don't require you to wall bounce your way to the first lobby. Whoa, that's a big strawberry. I thought it was because it made Morbo so emotional he was going to need multiple bins to which to slide into. <laughs> One fucking banger of hold music that's all ch 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 and then the synth goodness. Hmm. Hit me up with that hold music that's clearly being played from a dusty cassette into a desk mic from a PC from the 90s. Hmm. Alright, here we go. Strawberry jam, everybody. Like I said, this whole thing is broken out into five lobbies. Um, we start off here at the beginner lobby, we have an intermediate lobby, advanced, which I think is probably where I will I will get stopped, if not intermediate, expert lobby, and then grandmaster lobby. Now, the grandmaster lobby is all, like, top fucking tier shit. Now, the beginner lobby, I'm probably gonna die plenty in trial and error, because at the root of it, Celeste is a puzzle game. But 
This is how many fucking levels they added, chat. Look at this. What's that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 levels in the beginner's lobby alone. <laughs> Just fucking ban bananas. Okay, there you go. The beginner lobby. I'm being linked to hold music. Crap. Oh, cyber, gotcha. So yeah, um, I don't know if people have seen me play Celeste, but I have, like, streamed this now for something like 40 fucking hours. Oh, here we go. So this is something I do know about this game, chat. These right here. Tech tutorials. So they went through the effort of making their own tutorial levels, which I think is fucking wonderful idea, especially for a, um, for a mod. Where does this take me? Oh my god. And if you want to know any of- if you want to drill into any of this stuff, it's all here. <laughs> so, if you want to know how to do everything there is to do in Celeste, they have added it all. It's all here. That's bonkers. The library is a collection of tutorials about game knowledge and behavior which aren't necessarily restricted to any one difficulty. Tutorials may have multiple subsections, subsections that go from easier to harder, and will have an indicator that shows what difficulty that mechanic is relevant to. Blue circles for beginner, red triangles for intermediate, yellow rectangles for advanced, orange hourglasses for expert, and purple stars for grandmaster. Good lord. And that takes me between the gyms, I guess? Okay. Library explains a variety of game mechanics and physics quirks that do not fit into the regular gyms. This knowledge is useful in some cases required. Certain maps are advised to visit the relevant sections as you progress. For more information about the library, enter it and read the sign in its hub. So it's interesting that if you get stuck on a level, you can literally go and look up the answers of how you're supposed to do something in the fucking library. More about this hold music is pretty nice soundtrack for Shadowrun. <laughs> <clears throat> Gyms are tutorial areas that teach you the techniques you need to know strawberry jam maps. Each difficulty has its own gym that teaches different techniques. Gym sections are divided into several subsections, each showcasing a different form or usage of the technique. Some gym sections have one or two final challenges, which test all the forms of the technique you've learned in previous subsections. Upon completing a subsection, you can activate a touch switch to unlock and teleport back to the subsection. The playbacks in each section to visually demonstrate the techniques. You can use the toggle playbacks hotkey bound in the mod options to turn them on or off. Okay, I don't think we need to turn them off. So let's start off, shall we? Dream jump. Let's go top left first. So, form a dream jump. Press jump as you're exiting a dream block. Easy enough. Dream jumps can also be performed after moving diagonally for a dream block. However, you cannot dream jump after moving vertically through a dream block. I walked right into that. So I'm guessing this is this is my little demo room, right? For how to do this. This is a long demo room. Eh. Clearly not getting enough height out of that jump. Shit! Oh, I had to go ver- Oh, I see. I had to go horizontally across that one. I just didn't get the jump out again. 
I tried holding the button just to see if that works, but no, you do have to time it. And if you time it poorly, apparently you spike Madeline to the ground, which is fun. Hmm. And yeah, if anyone hasn't seen Celeste, by the way, me dying a lot, that's somewhat expected. This game is more or less a trial and error simulator. Yeah, I need to get some fucking... I need to get some good jump going. Otherwise, I'm not going to make it on that one. Whew. There it is. All right, dream grab next. Form a dream grab. Hold the opposite horizontal direction grab while moving through a dream block. When you exit the dream block, you'll immediately grab onto its side. Oh, I see. You can also perform a dream grab after moving diagonally through a dream block. That just killed me outright. Oh, diagonally. Idiot. Nice. Okay, what we got now? Cloud jumping. You step on a cloud, it'll briefly move down before recoiling upwards, giving you a small vertical boost. Jumping on a cloud is moving upwards will instead give you a large vertical boost. The largest possible boost, try to jump when the cloud is at its highest point. Okay. You jump immediately after landing on a cloud, you will not get the boost. Pink clouds disappear when you jump or walk off them, allowing you to fall through. Ah, I see. That's a mechanic I did not really know or ever have to use, so... And that's interesting. Nice. Alright, we're already in the Fio basics, so someone's made a fucking level in this beginner section that uses Fio, then. Theo, if people don't know, is one of the characters in Celeste. He gets trapped in the crystal in one of the levels and you have to kind of carry him around and stuff. You can grab Theo while he's in the- well, he's on the ground, sorry, or in mid-air. Collect this touch switch and catch Theo as he falls. Theo, you motherfucker, I thought you were going to drop way quicker than that. I guess that's not really his fault. There we go. Dashing into Fio or holding grab allows you to pick him up while preserving your, preserving your momentum. By the way, for anyone wondering, that right there looks like I'm going through spikes. You can pass through spikes from, like, underneath them. Or, like, the other side of them, as long as you don't pass straight into them, where they're pointing. Cannot grab walls or holding fear, however, you can still wall jump. Oh, nice. Makes sense. You can move in midair while holding Fio. Fio touches a red barrier in this section, he'll be destroyed. Easy enough. Right, now we have a demo level. Okay, so that's going to be jump through there, bounce off, wall jump up, throw him into that, grab him while dashing? Like he'll land on there and then fall all the way to safety, I guess. Okay, let's give that a try. I mean, that was it. 
Whoops. Oh, shit. Fio, I'm sorry. Come to get you, buddy. Fuck that up. Hmm. Nice. All right, good. There you go. We've, we've learned what they want me to learn for the beginner lobby, apparently. What did I just do? I just turned it... Oh, is that like a dark mode switch? Oh, that's nice. It's a weird quality of life thing I wasn't expecting. I still don't have... Some browsers still don't have fucking dark mode on it. Meanwhile, my Celeste mod does. What's this? Loopy Lagoon. Is there a way to... I forget if there's a way to, like, look at... the level list. I don't know that there is. I mean, it says it's a normal mode. So, like... Well, not a normal mode. There's, like, there's three difficulty things on it. There's green... yellow and red, I think. I thought they looked weird, these blocks. The bouncy boys. Oh, they also activate if I grab them. Are these supposed to be fruit loops? Oh, that's milk. Yeah, I'm in like a fucking cereal. <laughs> Who put me in cereal? They're basically clouds. Oh, that one doesn't go very far, huh? Alright, sideways dash it is. Sideways dash again. So I, uh, I may have said this during the pre-stream, I'm just gonna point out again. Um, this whole soundtrack is like original tracks done by just Celeste fans, basically. All the levels are also just levels made by Celeste fans, essentially. This is not like an official thing by any stretch, it's purely fan-made. There we go, okay, I'm good. Hmm. Thinking about doing a, a wall bounce there to get me the, the height I want. Even though I don't think I need to at this difficulty level, and that might make my life a little easier. Nope. Maybe I should just do it regularly and stop being a smarty pants. Like that. There you go. <laughs> I didn't get the bounce I wanted. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting one of the first levels I got into to be a serial-themed level. Oh, they work like bumpers, okay. I, like, had to wonder why that was there. Alright, so far, this level's not too bad. No, oh, that was analog stick death. That's gonna happen a lot, by the way. Should I get ready for that? I swapped back and forth between using analog stick and not using the analog stick in this game. Um, because sometimes doing diagonals on a D-pad is, uh, is bad. That's... Have they added secrets in this? If I was going to put a secret somewhere, I'd put it there. Oh shit, they have. Oh, a strawberry! Strawberry jam? I mean, I've got to go for the strawberry jam, right? I think that's a 
Yep, yeah, okay, that's a movable block. Mm. Shit. I think I was supposed to go up there. Give me that strawberry! Whoops. Oh, I don't have a dash there. Oh, I get it, I get it. Wait, no, I don't, I don't get it. Oh, no, I do get it! Sneaky little buggers. This is a very well put together level for a beginner level. Like, it's definitely harder than base game Celeste beginner levels would be, but I think this is a, this is a good sort of jumping back on point after having, uh, having played Chapter 9 so long ago. Kind of forgetting how to do all that. Oh, there, 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 there. Okay, yeah, yeah, I see it, I see it. This really feels like Celeste 2, like, I knew it would, but fuck me, it really does just feel like I'm playing more Celeste. <clears throat> I'm gonna be gushing about that the entire time we play this, I think, chat. Get ready for that. Boing! Bubble fucking came back too late. Oh, it's okay. I don't have to worry about getting the things again though. Yeah, this is uh, this is just forgiving enough for sure. Oh, hello. There's like spoons and shit. There's definitely a fruit loose level. Is that another secret up there? Oh, hang on. Let me just figure this out. So if I go up, bounce into that, it will get me into there. I'll use that block to fall down. Use that up and then that to the right to bounce into that one to grab it, which will then send me up into that ball, which I'll take up to there. Oh, need to use my dash there, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. So these blocks move when you grab them. Yeah, yeah. Secret. Give me, give me your secrets. What you got for me? Another strawberry. I bet it's another strawberry. Okay. How does this room work? Use that to bounce up there. Diagonal. Use that to bounce off there and replenish your dash, which will then fire me over here. Diagonal into that one. Grab that, get sent over to there, use that to bounce into that, dash into that ball. That felt pretty good. That 
on the other hand, didn't. <laughs> Please! One's wrong, isn't she? Oh, I needed to keep my dash! Mr. Mr. No Dash over here. When do we get to eat jam? Well, I mean, right now we're in a Fruit Loops level, so I, I, I don't know if they go with jam. I've never really had Fruit Loops. Isn't that the American, like, multicolored cereal that looks like it would definitely give my, my children diabetes? Well, I have children, but you know what I mean. Well, Morbina, I guess. She's now my Melina. Not that I look after her, though. Also called fruit. Yeah. We don't want to spell it like actual fruit, because then people might think it's healthy and they won't buy it. Where's my corn syrup? Shark boy, welcome in. <laughs> like, I knew that wasn't gonna work. I didn't know what I was doing there, really. I was just like, I just let it happen. Nice. Okay, what are we doing here? We bounce off that one, we get into there, we use that to go up, we hammer the cross to there, we grab on the side of it and that allows us to go up twice. Oh, this is a tall room. Okay. Right, anyway, so we go up there once, we go up there a second time, that'll allow us to get onto that one. We bounce up, use that to dash. Well, I guess we diagonal up and then we use that to... Mm. Diagonal up and then wall jump? And then use that to dash to the side. And then we grab that one to get rid of it, go across into there, have that shoot us over to the left, and then dash over to that block, grab it up to that one, use that to replenish our dash, dash to that, grab this, jump over to these, and then we're done. Okay, good. I'm only just home from work, meant to be finished at 5 30, but I didn't get finished until 7 10. Oi. Remember that in retail. They used to be pretty much every day in retail. Unpaid work until fucking 7 10. It sucked. It sucked the dicks. What game is this? This is Celeste, but it's a um it's a Celeste mod pack. Called Celeste Strawberry Jam. It's a community-made mod pack that is like an extra hundred plus levels of varying difficulties. Entirely new music, entirely new sprites and stuff. Basically a massively high effort... ...thing. Oh, I was supposed to press down! Oh, they checkpointed me. Well, that was nice of them. Nice! Now we make our way to safety. Oh, are these oh, little, little fellas. Oh, this, this is the end of the level! Try did it! My first level in the strawberry gem! Hard get. That was excellent. Great starting level. Hmm. What's down here then? I do like the fact that the fucking lobbies are little areas to explore in their own right. Oh, hello. Forest path. 
Crank it. <clears throat> for stuffing my face with food, I must away for real to work a duck, says Pastry. Good luck with strawberry jam. Thank you very much, Pastry. You have a good day at work. Mouse your mouth or will they be an onion marmalade level? I don't know. There might be. There might be a level called onion marmalade. For all I know. Why why it do that? Also that's a, I think that water's fine, but it has um spikes in it. Hmm. That's what I need to do. Don't know why my brain I'm I'm that just looks so much like a grass to me that I can't separate the grass from it. Like this stuff here to the crystals. Sneaky little strawberry. What did that do? What the fuck? That had a new power up? Oh, this is this mod is gonna be fucking bonkers, isn't it? I can go through terrain with that power up. Look at that. What the fuck? That's so cool. That's so fucking cool, man. Jesus Christ. I am nerding the fuck out right now. Hmm. I was looking at that angle thinking it was a little too extreme, but I wasn't sure, so... Can I go down? No, I need to go all the way to the all the way back then, I guess. Which means I need to be able to get across here and back without using the dash. Thought maybe that would work, but it didn't. Oh, it's definitely doable getting back across without using the dash. But it's not easy. about to ask what happens if you dash into a wall, but never mind, yeah. Well, if I dash into a wall normally, nothing happens. With this power-up, I go through it, which is obviously problematic. Oh, diagonal on the, on the fucking analog stick killed me! As I said before, that's gonna happen a lot. Oh, I think I just realized what I did just now. Yeah, okay. So this level's tricky because it makes you feel like... It makes you feel like you've figured it out, but then, like, you, you definitely haven't. Like, um... Yeah, see, I needed to go up, but I think I maybe could have just gone diagonal. Shit. Neil says, is this a rerun? Welcome in, Neil. 
Oh, diagonal hurts though. Diagonal is pain. Yeah, Neil, if you're referring to me playing Celeste again being a rerun, no. As uh, Shark Boy has pointed out, this is a uh, it's a new mod project. This is Celeste Strawberry Jam. Over a hundred levels been made by the Celeste community, along with an entirely new soundtrack, new sprite work, new power-ups. They've added in a tutorial system that teaches you, like, everything you need to know about how to, like, do a bunch of tech in Celeste and stuff. It's fucking bonkers. Also, Neil converting their Prime sub into a Tier 1 sub. Thank you, Neil. I'm doing some tricky stuff to get this uh, this here strawberry chat. I'm doing a wall jump into a neutral off this wall. So I can get up there. I don't know if I needed to do that, but it worked. So. Oh, see? That's no good. You need to keep that. All the way to there. I'm gonna go silent for a bit, just cook these sweet and sour, and I wanna eat it. Sweet and sour what? Chicken? Just like a sweet and sour. But yeah, no worries, new. Just the sauce, yeah. <laughs> just the sauce. Side and A to jump. What do you mean, son? What do you mean side and A to jump? I actually kind of don't want this power up right now. I'm gonna try something, chat. So this is a this is a bit of the speed running tech of Celeste. I do know. Hyper dashing. Pathway to the right, but then there's a pathway at the top as well. The one at the top looks a lot more troubling to get to, though. The one at the top looks like I need to keep that power up. Right, of course. Okay, I have an idea, hang on. I should have gone diagonal up. I fucked it. Gotta drop out and go do some more work on a job application. No worries. Good luck. Ugh. I don't even care about, like, collecting all the strawberries, but there's just a part of me that's like... I can't not. Do you get me, chat?
Like, it's there, it exists, so I must go for it. Like, it's just a fucking strawberry. But I gotta get it. Because I've seen it. I've seen it with me peepers. Oh, I see. Oh, we need to get that back to dry land, huh? How do I do that? So I can dash over and get across to there. I grab that. I'm going to have to dash. I'm going to have to jump over, dash up the diagonal to get that strawberry, and then do the same again to get that thing. But I don't have two dashes. So how do I do that? I don't think I reached that with one dash. I mean, I can get two dashes like that. But they only last as, as long as I'm not dashing the whole way, which I have to do anyway. Why did I not go through the wall, though? Is it because I grabbed? Maybe it is. Like, that don't, that don't, that don't do it. That don't cut it. Like, I think I could probably wrangle that somehow, but it's pretty rough. Gonna have to go earlier. Hmm. Ah, oh, ha ha ha! The dream jump! I forgot that existed! There's another strawberry there. Dash through there, dream jump through. That one we just turn and grab. Get down, get the strawberry. Spring back to the wall and then jump and dash across to get that one. And then I guess we go through that wall, through that one, and then jump out of that one and we should be all right. We'll see how this goes. Oh, there's a lot there. There's a lot to unpack. Alright, I jumped out, which was bad there. Sometimes it's good to jump out, and sometimes it's bad to jump out. I need to be able to very quickly switch between the two. And I'm instinctively holding back on the direction there. Oh, diagonal. I think as long as I don't do any input, more or less, I'll be mostly good there. Like, almost neutral jump out of that. Because I'd just fall onto the, the spring. I think. MP3. Jumped again, didn't I?
That bit sucks because it's so early on, but it's so easy to make that mistake. It's going to just rack up my deaths like really quickly. Son of a bitch. Right, okay, we're gonna we're gonna start doing a safety strat then, I guess, and just grab like that. Because I, I don't want to rack up loads of meaningless deaths. There we go. <gasps> the end of the level. We did it. We did another one. I feel like I died more on this one than I did the Fruit Loops. Okay, I want to go and have a quick look at this book. So there is a book over here that has uh, the list of levels in it. Okay, so Forest Path, according to this, Forest Path, I guess, is supposed to be the first one. If you're purely going by, like, numerical order or whatever. Azure Caverns, we need to find. Collapsing Skyline and Seeing is Believing. The fuck is the name of that one? If my driveway almost did you in. What? But yeah, I had um quite a few more deaths in that last one. Mostly from that one room, but it's not all that surprising. Caverns? Haha! <laughs> By Cellular Automaton. I should start mentioning who does these. Whoa. New block is crazy. New new block goes goes hard. That looked like what that was what they wanted me to do there, but maybe not. I think I might be getting uh ahead of myself here, trying to do wall bounces already. I like these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle blocks. Oh, interesting though. What's in here? <laughs> Ran headfirst into the crystals for no reason. Oh, that's Wisp Water's bad too? Is all water bad in this game now? Water used to be fine. Yeah, cheat the system. No, give me the give me the strawberry. I put my I put my legs back down. Fucking son of a Can I just do this? Nope. So, chat, I have something called a crouch dash. There it is. I have something called a crouch dash that is technically speedrunning tech, but they kind of... They kind of, like, officially adopted it because it's in the keybinds now. So, 
crouch dash is a regular dash, but in a crouching position, and it makes your hitbox um, slightly smaller, so you can fit through gaps such as that if you can line it up right. For example, if you don't line it up right, obviously it's pretty pretty bad. But it does allow me to do stuff like that though, if I can do it right. That'll do it. Water and strawberries are famously antif antithetical to each other. Sorry, rather, sorry. It's true. Almost said antithetical, like that was a word. You know, that new word, antithetical. In the new dictionary. Something tells me I can do that without two dashes. It's my instincts. My game of instinct. So a reminder chat, this is the beginner lobby and this is the beginner beginner levels. This is baby mode currently. We're not even getting into, like, wall bounces and shit yet. This stuff is technically easier than the things we've already done. I think if you want to get real technical. Oh, more malicious, what have you done? More malicious. Let's redeem something. Let's see, let's see what it is. Clown trailer. Right, okay. Let's, uh, let's have a look. I may have to cut this out of the VOD, because the last couple of these trailers have gotten me claimed on YouTube, but it's okay. I can just edit it out. Let's have a look. It's just called Clown? Wait. Media added... Where, where, where's me video? Oh, there we go. That kid with a fucking jester hat on, though. There's no clown coming. Who double books a clown? I thought you had a backup. Everything's gonna be fine. Perfect. What? Fucking like long feet. It's not a goddamn. It's skin of a demon. Five children into its cave. One child for every month. A winter. This is so stupid. Fucking slowly turning into a cloud. Don't let me out. Jesus Christ. 
Christ, the audio on this trailer has blown the fuck out, though. Sort your audio out, IGN. What are you doing down there, Daddy? Come downstairs. He's just clowning around. There. I mean, he tried to warn her. <laughs> Don't go up there. Well, that was a that was, <laughs> that was a very silly trailer, but I enjoyed it. There you go, more pushes. Clown. That's what's happened to me as I stream over the years. I think we've had this conversation on stream before, but chat, for someone who is uh, woefully scared of, like, um, oh, I see what I'm supposed to do. And I fucked it up still. Someone who is woefully scared of, like, video games for the most part, um, I do not fear movies generally. Basically, I've never watched a film that has scared me. I've definitely, like, had that, you know, like, something loud happens in a film, and it's like, whoa. But I'm not scared of it, I'm just, like, surprised by it. That's why I don't like calling them jump scares, they're more like jump surprises. Well, lives lost, thank you very much for the Prime Gaming sub. 30 months, dude. Noise. How you doing, Simon? Yeah, we've had this conversation many times. Many uh, Games fuck us up, movies never. I don't know why. But the interesting thing to me with that, though, is like there are a number of people I have spoken to who are like horror movie aficionados, you know. Like they love the horror movies. They get scared by horror movies. But not games. And I don't... That, I, I just can't wrap my head around. Thirty months. Feels like I've watched you longer. <laughs> you might have done. It's true. Just a little bit. Oh, that was close. Ooh. How can you be scared of a movie and not a game? That's not how brains work. That's how I feel when we talk about it, too. Like, to me, that doesn't make any sense. Like, the game is actively trying to, like, engage you in the, in the horror. Whereas the movie is not. Oh, that was the end of this level? Well, that was a pretty short level. I'm okay with that, though. Also... Royal Pizza, I want to go there. Give me a Royal Pizza. The only movies that would make me scared would be ones you feel connected in some sense. Games, you're connected to them all. Yeah. Oh, I missed the strawberry. That's fine. So, chat, I'm I'm not planning on, like, 100%ing everything across all levels. It's just there's going to be too much here anyway. Um, if I miss a strawberry or whatever, I don't care. It's fine. Um, I'm going to try and get them if I can find them. Okay, right. That is the first medium difficulty level I've come across in this beginner area. So I'm going to just see if there are... Oh. Let's see if there are more levels for me to find in this little zone first. Because we have two non-medium difficulty ones left. What? 
I like how this guy's name is Bing over Google. You're doing some wrong dog if you you want Bing over Google, that's all I'm gonna say. Appreciate that's your online handle. It's wrong. Unless you're just searching for porn, I guess. Apparently it's good at that. Or, you know, using the new Bing AI thing that wants to kill everyone and take over the human race. What, this one? Tree hive. We're at least finding the levels now, which is good. Then I can choose whether or not to do them. This looks like another level. Rose Garden. Oh, it's the... Is that the grandma? It might be the grandma. Or maybe it's just random people. Another bench to sit at. <clears throat> Plenty of room to explore over here still as well. Oh, hello. I'm sure there's probably a dog to pet somewhere for the dog lovers in the chat. Alright, what would level be you? Loopy Lagoon. That's the first one we did. Okay, so... Hmm. I want to go find a bench and sit at see if I can figure out where some of these levels might be. We'll start doing the ones I've come across if I can't find any of the quote-unquote easier ones first, but I'd like to kind of do them in some sort of difficulty progression. Let me have a quick catch-up chat here. Love my horror movies. Dodging fruit and veg. Only movies aside from underwater ones that they creep me out sometimes. The ghost ones, like Sinister One or par First Paranormal Activity, get creeped out but not scared. Man love Paranormal Activity in some low-budget found footage style movies because they don't go over the top. As soon as Big Hollywood gets a hold of them and gives them CGI ghosts and explosions, it's not creepy. You know, top three is Jaws. That's why The Thing is a masterpiece. The Thing is a good movie. The Thing is a good game, actually, as well. Although, again, scary. Uh, I guess we go further down, right? That's an option. No, it's down here. Into the depths. The dank, dank depths and below. Like I'm really going down now, Jesus Christ. When does it end? Okay, right. What? level be you. Midnight Spire. That's a medium one. Another bench. There's got to be more than one fucking level in that whole area. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Aha! Seeing is believing! We found another starter base level. Oh, it's a battling level as well. Huh. Uh, hey, NYB, a fur hire here. What? 
while not necessary, this map is intended to be played while blindfolded with a friend guiding you through the level. You choose not to slam into my face, it will initiate single player mode and I'll guide you through the level myself from my super secret room. If you're already getting ready to call up a friend and get the old pillowcase out though, then I hope you enjoy the unique experience. Not your battling out. Yeah, buddy, I totally get it. What kind of name is Fur Hire anyway? Hmm. <laughs> this is uh, this is interesting. I kind of want to see what it looks like. All right. Well, I guess I have to retry now. Nope. Restart. Turn to lobby. If it wasn't for the, um... If it wasn't for the, like, ramifications of it, chat, I'd almost be tempted to say someone in chat guide me through this level, but... I feel like, uh, if you don't know Celeste very well, and also you would have to... <laughs> you have to be here for the entire time it would take me to do this level. So let's, uh, let's see what a single player looks like here. Oh. Jump up, then dash right. Oh my god, climb up! Dash right, you'll hit spring, it's bouncing you up. Oh, just dash, not jump and dash. I'll guide you, just keep going right. Dash right and hold right. Okay. And you get to see what level you you did. That's kind of cool. Move a bit to the right, you'll drop down and land on a spring. <laughs> no, I don't! You asshole! Okay, cool. This is a very interesting concept for a level. I can see this being really fun with someone guiding you, though. Dash right for another spring. Dash right, hold grab. Yeah, I feel like the problem with, uh, with say, getting, like, um, someone to come and do this on Discord with me or something is you'd need to know Celeste well enough to know, like, the mechanics of some of the, the blocks. All mobs are lost. I'm taking your brother now, he is my kin. Oh, I see. Uh, if it wasn't for the fact I might lose the name, I would totally change it for a bit. <laughs> That's right, don't mind the moving platform, it's just there to spook you. Bitch! Hold right when it's at the top, she said. But I'm not, though. I'm not 
what you're saying is not happening. Okay, there we go. Okay. Whoa, a blade. Dash whenever you don't hit a swing. Climb up. B climb up, but don't hold right. Would have been nice. Whoops. This is a really cool level. I, I love the fact that this is here. Dash right until you touch the ground and hold left. Dash left. When you hit spring, release everything. It should bounce you onto a platform. Tap right until you fall, and then quickly hold left and hold grab. Drop down here, spring. Once you hit it, dash right. Keep holding right and holding grab. Hold right. Climb up. Dash right. Hold right and hold grab. Climb up quick. Checkpoint. Hold right. Climb up. Dash right. Hold right. Hold grab. Dash up left to hit spring. When you bounce off the spring, hold right and dash up right. What? Dash right, hold right, hold grab. Aim to hold grab where the dash crystal is. As I climb up for half a second, I'm like, trying. She's, uh, she's giving me bad commands, though. Dash up left, hit spring, bounce off spring, hold right, dash up right. Don't forget to hold grab. Nice. Wish said that was the last room. Oh, it was. Phew, that was something. Jeez, whatever's up ahead looks really tough. I think I best take the heart and either leave or rest. Shame such a pretty garden has to be so deadly. Hey there, not your battle and hiding away in a secret room here. See if you can get the silver berry blindfolded. Oh, no peeking. Get that heart blindfolded too. Uh-huh, yeah, sure. Maybe if I decide to reject my sanity sometime later in life. Heads up, this room is for the berry. The end of the map is in the other room. I know. Oh, she's still giving... Okay, she is still giving me... Jump up and dash up right when you land on the ground. Slowly into right. Blindfold, baby! Except it wasn't it was pseudo blindfold, I guess. 
I even got the berry. 13 deaths. That was the least amount of deaths so far. On a level that's supposed to be blindfolded. I guess the computer giving me the instructions kind of makes it a little easy. But I, I don't really know how she would do that map in single player, right? That's a cool idea for a map, though. I enjoyed that a lot. And like I say, if it wasn't for the uh, ramifications of, like, actually getting someone on chat and, like, streaming it to them with no delay and all that sort of stuff, it would be, uh... It would be something that I would have done... attempted to do with one of you guiding me. That would have been cool. I'm gonna say Collapsing Skyline probably isn't down here, but let's find out what this is. Dropzel. That is a very high difficulty level, apparently. At least for beginner levels. This game is very pretty. It is, and again, just to reiterate, this is a mod, so a lot of these uh, art assets and stuff are uh, not in the, the base game. This is this is a team of people who did this as a passion project. It's a big team of people as well. There's a lot of people behind this. Paint. If you're wondering, by the way, if you just got here or something, or you didn't hear me earlier, if you're wondering why I'm not going into the levels as I'm finding them, I'm trying to find the last non-higher difficulty level because these levels are rated. There's a whole section in the middle here to check out, apparently. <clears throat> Celeste inspires a lot of passion. It does. Yeah, there's very passionate people who work around here. Alright, I'm not going to read this out, chat, but if you want the credits... There you go. You can see who made this stuff. In fact, what I'm going to do is use this as an opportunity to have a sip of my drink. Very good. Flagpole one up. It's a good name. I'm underwater. Aha, we found it! The collapsing skyline. That's crystal. That's bad. Ow! <laughs> My fucking brain! That's also a crystal there. That's also a crystal there. 
I can barely see it. Like, am I even able to get through there? Oh, I am. an interesting level. Crystals need to glow, I feel. That might just be, like, an attempt at extra difficulty, to be fair. Because cause otherwise, mechanically, there isn't too much going on yet. Celeste being more or less a puzzle game at heart. Oh. Hmm. Shit. Didn't even bother jumping. It's not going to get me very far, is it? Oh, I also blame Madeline for most things in this game, even when it's me, by the way. That was just not... that was... I don't know why even happened there. <clears throat> I feel like Adam is to blame somehow. I can get behind that. Fucking Adam. He hasn't uh, authorized the use of my my dash. Oh, my Nial has redeemed a steam key roulette. I will uh I will do that shortly, Neil. There we go. Now I'm at a bench, I can sit down. Alright, let's have a look. Uh, let me get all my stuff. Steam. Stream. Drive. There we go. Alright, for 15,000 points, Might Nial has redeemed a spin. Or three of the wheel. No rush, my dude. Oh, no, we're all good. Um, let me just get that going. If you weren't here before, the wheel has had a little bit of a makeover. There are now less names appearing on the wheel, but there are more keys in the wheel in general. We're on 273 now on the wheel. Right, very quickly, Neil. Um, just for your benefit and for anyone else who's thinking about redeeming this, 15,000 channel points, you'll get yourself free potential spins of the wheel. Your first spin, you'll get a game. If you don't want it, you can spin again, but you give up your chance to keep that game. And you can do that up to three times. Neil will probably just spin three times, because he doesn't seem to care what he gets. He just wants to spin the wheel. But, as long as you understand that, Neil, and you're good to go, give me a thumbs up or something in the chat, and we'll spin. There he is. Spin, he says. Spin number one. Tooth and tail, Neil. Would you like to go for tooth and tail? Would you like to spin again? Whoa, loud. Spin, he says. Tooth and tail, just for anyone wondering. 82% positive, 14.99 on Steam it is a RTS game. Kind of in the vein of like, Advance Wars. Right, spin number two for Neil.
a game... Oh, I was about to say a game I've played on stream before, but I have not played Moon Hunters. Moon Hunters, I think, is an RPG. Neil, would you like to go for Moon Hunters? I've heard this game's good, but I never got around to playing it. It's like a sort of roguelike exploration thing, apparently. 80%. Spin, he says. I don't even know even why I bothered asking me. <laughs> Moon Hunters is good fun, says uh, Cyber. There you go. Neil, you have won Katamari Damacy re-roll! Great game. Second one of that coming out soon, which I will be streaming towards the end of the year. That is a good spin, I agree. Uh, so that is a 92% positive, 15.99 on Steam. Vigi game. Neil, congratulations. Katamari Damacy is a delight. Now I'm going to have a feckin' tune stuck in my head, he says. As well you should. Because it's great. Alright, let me get you your key, Neil. Uh, I will send it to you in the usual fashion over Discord. There it is. Two... Where is he on my list here? My Neil, there we go. Bam! Sent. Enjoy your key, Neil. Thank you very much for spinning the wheel. And we will update the wheel here. Shuffle, shuffle. Shave. Yep. I wish this was quicker. This whole process of, like, getting my URL back on here, but it's fine. It's doable. Right, there we go. Wheel is updated. Again, if you would like to spin the wheel chat, it is um, 15,000 channel points. And you will guaranteed go away with something. Who knows what. Okay. This is an interesting level so far, because it's not hard, it's just... It's all, like, fallen down and shit. Jesus fucking Christ. I tried so desperately to get in that gap. Wait, it put me in here anyway. <laughs> sure. But well, you know what? Close enough, mate. You basically did it. Blood? In there? Are we in a horror map? What's going on? It's like people are writing shit in blood. It's a weird, like, limp strawberry up there. Blood for the blood god. No, I mean blood jam. Blood jam sounds like a weird death jam follow-up. Hmm. Like I want to delay the jump so I don't end up doing that fucking rocket propelled horse shit, but not too much, I guess. Like, I know what I've got to do there, it's just doing is hard. I 
think if I do it all in one motion, it might be a little bit easier. One out of six! What are you fucking talking about, mate? They're just going to be like strawberries dotted around. Oh, there is. This entire fucking thing. Well, now I'm in though, aren't I? I've got like one of them. Blood Jam is a Blade OST sidetrack, surely. <laughs> Love the music and art in this game, but the gameplay looks like it would try my patience. Indeed. Uh, I mean, to be fair, Neil, like if you want to play the original Celeste, it's way more forgiving in the uh, original levels, as it were. This is... Like, expecting a certain level of knowledge out of the player being a, a mod and all. Yeah, I would say, um... The original Celeste has its tough moments, for sure, but they're not anywhere near anything you'll see on this. Oh, me... me... me strawberries. Oh, we got them back. What you play the original still looked hard as balls. I mean, what what part of the original though? Because there's like um, there's the original, then there is a uh... oh, okay. There are the C sides and the B sides. They are also the harder content. Those final levels, yeah, they're they're, they're extra optional stuff like that's challenge mode. That's what I'm kind of getting at. The actual initial story, like, two credits, doesn't include any of those levels you're talking about. Wait, that's just the end there? Oh, it's all paint! It's just paint! It's not blood, it's paint! Definitely just pain. It's not people who are dying like the skeleton man there. It's just pain. Ninth of September, twenty eighty. Praise Kingdom. Give yourself to the jet stream. Our lives belong to Kingdom. Praise Kingdom. Praise Kingdom. Praise Kingdom. Alright. Good talk. Glad we could have this discussion. Oh, I'm fine in the in the the totally not blood. Apparently. a nice swim. I don't know where the rest of these strawberries are, I'll be honest. So, you know what, fuck it. I'm not going back all the way through the level to get them. Fuck it! For one st oh, two strawberries, I guess. Nah. Alright. Alright, we've done it, chat. That's all of the original levels. 
as it were, the non, like, next tier up levels in the, uh, the beginner section. Alright, what's, what's the first one on that list? Because I might have already found it. Yeah, the driveway run one, I have found that. That's down here somewhere. Is that, um... Is that the creature from Ori in the Blind Forest? It might be. I mean, uh, this is probably made by a lot of speedrunning community people. And speedrunning community people fucking love Ori in the Blind Forest. I have yet to play it, to be fair. So I can't really talk on how good or bad it is, but... Yeah, I know, uh, I know speedrunners are mad for that shit. Alright, I think the driveway level or whatever is up there. If I want to go do that. Is this one. If my driveway almost did you in by Bing over Google, I need to try and remember to name the people who made these levels because that's that would be a cool thing to do. So we're introduced to the mechanic, which is when you dash, things happen to blocks. Or maybe it's just when you stand on things, like blocks. When you go into the blue section, or something. I, I don't know. When you go into- oh, I see it. When you go past the line, the thing happens. And it goes to where the blue section is. That's what it is. That's what this mechanic is. Got it. There is something up there. Well, let's try to do that first. All right, I think I was supposed to use the momentum of that block. That's pretty cool. Cool mechanic. <gasps> pizza! We're going to the pizza joint. Fuck. Analog death. So I'm pretty sure someone has composed this song so that it changes when you activate stuff. That's very cool. Pizza will never betray you. It's true. Although the guy who said that is a complete fucking tool, as we all know. Not Neil. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, chat. You know who I mean. Hmm. I don't think I need to do a hyper dash here, but it just makes me feel better about myself. If I do a hyper dash. So. Mm. I need that dash. That's how we do it. 
It's just lots of neutral jumping. There we go. Kind of don't think I need the block to see what's going on in a lot of these levels. I appreciate it's there if you need it, but... Whoops. Didn't get the jump. I feel like most of these are pretty straightforward. Like, in the mechanics. But it's nice that they're catering for, like, all skill levels in these beginner levels. Because they should. You know, that's kind of... It's on the label, isn't it? Beginner. In theory, someone, although it would be a really hard version of it, in theory, someone who is a complete beginner to Celeste should be able to pick up this mod, do the beginner levels. Eventually, with like enough, enough trial and error. That is if they're looking to make this, you know, an, an, essentially a Celeste 2, which is what it feels like to me anyway. It's a fairly long one, but seems pretty straightforward still. Oh, um... I see it yet. Nice. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on a second. Sneaky. Hmm. Be right back, gonna make some popcorn, no worries. Oh! That got out of hand really quickly. Uh, where the fuck am I go- hang on. Where the fuck am I going? Once I get that? Oh, I use that to propel- oh, I see. I get it, I get it. Okay. Yeah. There's, a, there's been a couple of them that do that. Take you back to the start. There's a lot going on here, but I'm just gonna- I'm gonna trust in the level design, chat. I see, I see. Ow. Ho oh, ho ho! That was so close it turned me into Mickey Mouse. Nice! And again, good level design, because I didn't even need to look at the map to figure out where we were going there. That was a pretty short one! And that was supposed to be like a, a next step up, difficulty-wise, but you know what? That wasn't that bad. Don't want to jinx myself. We missed one strawberry, that's fine.
as I said all along. We're gonna get the strawberries as I find them, as I see them. Unless, you know, we end up like completely stuck on one that's impossible, but so far that hasn't been the case. But they are just there for bonus. And we have done that level. Jesus Christ, how is it already fucking nine o'clock? What happened? Okay. We have quite a few that we've found, but we haven't gone into yet, so let's uh, let's do that, shall we? Let's drop down and go up. I'm assuming these are all mid-levels. I mean that medium difficulty, not that they're mid content. You know what I meant, Chuck. The Rose Garden by Quinnigan. Chat, I'm gonna go for a break. When we come back, we're gonna have a look at the Rose Garden by Quinnigan. Um, enjoy the, the break show, the break show, the clip show on the break. I will be back in a couple of minutes and we'll continue on with the Strawberry Jam. Where'd his weapon go? You see that thing like fucking fly off in the air? Did it. Speed! <laughs> oh, please, I beg. Hello. Can you go on, go on, go on! Fuck! Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what just happened? She, <laughs> she did like a somersault and broke her neck. Rio, no! <laughs> what was that? Spin. Spin. Oh, fuck! <laughs> I tried to run into the wall. <laughs> tried to run into the robot. Come on, then. Let's head back. Oh, yeah, let's head back, buddy. Nothing weird here. Just. Regular old pigs, okay, but... Oh! Oh, it's me, my name's Arthur... Skin texture Morgan, I didn't bother loading Charles in. Hope you'd use the bow, but you're a good shot. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. Potato! <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back... Well, maybe our left oh, God. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off. Oh, we roll giant and then we died. Just that. <laughs> I forget. I keep forgetting that it zooms in. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, man. It's so much. So so good. It's so much better like that. I'll keep you covered while you heal, buddy. Oh, what's that? You're out of flasks! A lucky Creighton! Dickhead! Oh. Wait, what the fuck did he eat? Oh, no. I'm out of here. Fight. I'm out of here. Fight. I'm out of here. Fight! Fight! Fight. I don't know why, but fight. Why not? Oh god, she's strong. I think I might be dead. Why would you fight? <laughs> so 
Stop eating my- No! Now you will know the sorrow of those whose lives you have- This is the person <laughs> Steve Jobs was based on! <laughs> Oh, that's good. <laughs> now he's just going. No, turn around, William. Right. Collect items, avoid fireballs. You can do this. I've done this. I've done this before. Listen. Alright. Shh. Don't wanna hear it. Get fucked. Yeah, baby! <laughs> oh, what HP! Now I'm the one who lives. <laughs> Call him Clown Man. man. Clown Man, it's me, Jay. I'm back. We have new beppers. I've had a little yogurt. And these little lemon yogurts that like go off tomorrow. Tasty though. Beppers and yogurt. That's right. All right, Rose Garden by Quinnigan. Whoa. It's like Mario music. Oh, it really is like Mario music. Left trigger plus X boost. Oh! Rose Garden. I fucked that up. Another new mechanic, chat. But it's crazy. Alright, when it says left trigger, I think it means grab, so I think any button will do, yeah. It's just my boost button. Oh, it's a little... it's a little rose spring! Oh, that's lovely! Yeah, this is like Kirby Mario ass music. Oh. This music really got me pumping. It's good. This feels like end credits. You did the thing, and now your friends are saved. Well done. Have a... Uh, I don't know. Have a Kit Kat. But not just any Kit Kat, because you, you deserve it. You saved the day. You can have a Kit Kat Chunky. That's how you know you've really achieved something. This, uh, this artwork is fucking gorgeous. 
they've really done a good job of this. Like, this blows my mind that this is a, this is a mod and not just fucking Celeste 2. Oh, I fucked it up! Kit Kats are delish. Yeah, I like a Kit Kat. Kit Kat's good. I mean, it's not my, like, favourite. I wouldn't choose it over certain other chocolate bars. But I'm never disappointed when I have one. I can't imagine how difficult this is to um, coordinate properly, bearing in mind that was I supposed to get the rose back? Bearing in mind that this is like different difficulty levels and stuff, right? Oh, I saw the rose. It fucking it, it goes. Like this is uh this is beginner level levels, so they had to like have someone vet them, I guess, and be like, this is, you know, a certain level of difficulty. But I don't know if these levels were made with like the intention of being a beginner level in mind. Or if it was just like make your level, submit it, and we'll put it where it belongs. But it seems like such a fucking huge effort. It's very impressive. It's a full scale project, yeah. Yeah. Free as well, a reminder. Not behind some Patreon paywall or whatever, which I for the record, I think is fine. Uh, if you have like spent loads of time working on a mod and you want to charge money for it, I think that's perfectly fine, personally. As long as it's reasonable, like you put a lot of time and effort into it, you can charge money for it. Why not? As long as you're not, like, uh, using someone else's assets and shit. level is pretty, you're right. Not only is this level pretty, Neil, we were just saying, this is like an entirely new mechanic. This is not a mechanic that's in the base game. There is a jellyfish that are kind of similar, but not at all the same, like they don't use this boost mechanic. So if someone has gone in and coded their own fucking thing for this, which is mind-boggling to me still. Also, that was a fairly short and easy level, I liked it. They don't all need to be, uh, fucking 50 minute bangers. 18 deaths? Not bad. Good job, Quinnigan. In fact, if anything, it gives me a little bit of, uh, like, um, what's the word for it? Makes me feel a little better about the, the length of this, knowing that they're not all going to be, like, super long levels. Because there are 20-something levels in this one lobby. And there are five lobbies. We've done seven of them so far, and it's taken me two hours. We are obviously nowhere near, like, 
finishing this lobby tonight, but knowing that there is a nice mixture of like long and shorter levels is good. That's how it should be. It's also a good showcase of that as well, because I'm, I'm sure there are lots of people who want to, you know, have their mods showcased, but maybe don't want to make a really long level, or aren't good at making a really long level. So that's always good to see too. Alright, I think I've ended up... I think I've gone too far. I have. So I need to go all the way left until I get to the next drop down and then I need to sort of go up and into a crevice. Here we go. This is Tree Hive by Skeleton and Earthwise. Oh, fuck yeah. I'm getting this fucking soundtrack. Whoa! Even that block was funky. Oh, is this like Beehive? I get it. It's all honey. It reminds me of Sonic. You bounce on these ones as well, that's cool. Yeah, this does remind me of Sonic as well. Like in terms of the uh, the music. Whoa, that's bad honey. Oh, I get it. Oh, that's tricky. Oh, you really can't hang around. Oh, spikes! Bastard! All right, how do we do this? Well, I mean, I go up here, for a start. Because there's almost certainly secrets and things up here. Oh, there are lots of up ones. Okay, I see it. All right, we have to do a dream jump into an up. And then we have to sideways dash to get the thing. That's very tight timing, but I can do it. Oh! Come on, you got this! You got this, me! Give myself fucking pep talks for some reason. Ha! I needed to dash again, didn't I? Whoops! I was wondering if maybe I could get away with a diagonal there. It might make my life a little easier, but it didn't! Give me that goddamn strawberry or whatever is going to be over here. Oh, I just realized that was not safe ground. I did it again. Do I want to go diagonals? I think I want to go diagonals. I think I've got to go diagonals. You know, actually, this music reminds me less of Sonic and more of Spyro. The more I listen to it. It sounds like Stuart Copeland could have done this. No, I don't. Maybe I don't want to go diagonals, actually. No, I definitely do. 
Oh, that's really hard, though. That can't be right. Diagonal down. That's, I think, what I'm supposed to be doing. Yep. And then dream jump out of it. That's the fucker. Oh! I was definitely supposed to dash earlier. Well, I died on that. What? I think this is just for a strawberry, by the way. I don't even think I'm going through the level as intended right now. Maybe I am. I don't know. Maybe I missed the story room earlier. This is the actual way to go. Oh, you son of a bitch. Maybe I can just stay on it if I, like, duck. Okay, what we what we doing here? Diagonal down. scary. That's it, though. That's cool. No, I fucked it again. So that was not all for a strawberry. I lied. I must have missed a strawberry room. I'm kind of glad, because that seemed like a lot for a strawberry. Oh, I don't want to dash out of that, okay. But I do want to jump out of that one, I think. Or maybe just dash straight up out of that one. Now I'm kind of unsure. Sideways dash actually gives me some time to kind of think about what I'm doing. I know I've uh, harped on about how this game keeps adding mechanics, but these, uh, these like double bounce versions of these blocks are new as well, chat. For anyone who doesn't know original Celeste. Normally you don't bounce back out of these. So this is an entirely new way of using these blocks. Do I just want to go straight up there? Oh my goodness. Uh. Oh, what am I doing here? Nice! 
grab, right? Oh, and you grab and it goes? Oh, that's mean. Oh, hello, secret. Secret strawberry, you don't say. Which I don't think I had any way of getting unless I use that block. Nice. I think I can do that. Oh my god. Whoa! God, this is a cool level! Someone spent a lot of time thinking how this level works. I'm seriously impressed. Uh, did the new mandible stuff completely unhinged as expected. I enjoy. Very good. I'm probably going to end up doing that tomorrow night or maybe Thursday or Friday daytime. I keep thinking I'm dream jumping out, but it doesn't seem to be... Oh, no, you can't do it vertically. I think they said something like that. I seem to remember. Now what? Now what? <clears throat> I bounce off that one. That moves everything. I guess I dream jump out, get that, go up there. Okay, I can't go back in there. No, it didn't come back! You son of a bitch! I was lied to! By no one. No one said that was gonna do that. God dang it! This looks not easy. Uh, yeah, it's it's like, there's a challenge here. I don't think it's like too bad yet. I really could do with that coming back. I don't know how to make that happen. Oh, I've been doing this wrong the whole time. I just realized, I just realized it. Yeah, I see it now. Or at least I think I've seen it now. Maybe I haven't. I thought I needed to do a diagonal. Yeah, like that. But doing a diagonal there is really hard. Oh, wait, no, it's not a diagonal. Oh, fucking hell. Seriously. Is that... That's fucking crazy. You wanna bet? Wait, bet what? That it isn't difficult. It's difficult. I, uh, I, I think it is plenty difficult, but so it's still very much in the beginner bracket for sure. It's no more difficult than uh, any of the B or C sides. Oh, I need to do the jump out of there, don't I? Nope, that's a dash. Press the wrong button. Here we go. Oh, jumping, jumping out is good, but not dashing out. Don't want to do that. I need to wait until I get way closer to the other side. Okay. So we go into there. We jump out. Oh, Miss the jump. We go into there. We jump out. Oh, need to make a sideways dash. 
Twas a jesting reference, my last disastrous bet for you. Ah, dang it. I'm sure there will be a, a level in this at some point that will, uh, that will be worthy of bet. Dang it. Oh! I had it. It was just sloppy. The execution was bad. Blah, blah, blah. Title of my sex book. Whatever. You know. There's a joke there somewhere. Hmm. How do you do that? How do you do that? Oh, I bounce you son of a bitch game. How many times am I going to bounce on this one block? I was like a third bounce on this thing. I had no idea I was going to do that. So of course I wouldn't fucking realize. We've used this one block more than any other, I think. Okay, here it is. This is this is the strat. So we go in here, we jump, we grab this, sideways dash into that one. And then up. Fuck yes. Woo! <clears throat> I feel like this is that scene from Predator where Arnie meets up with Carl Weathers. Morbo's Arnie and I'm Carl Weathers. You could just do the, um, the IOR Unity emote. I think we have that here. There you go. <laughs> I I no idea what to do next. And it panicked me. What do you do about this, chat? I don't quite understand. Oh no, I do get it! I just understood what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing here. This level's really clever. So we go all the way up in diagonals. We let this one bounce me up. We use the diagonal down and diagonal down again. And then look at that. Son of a bitch is open. God damn it. I'm genuinely very impressed by this level. Okay, so this one is sideways in. I was probably supposed to use the momentum there. I'm probably supposed to grab that as well, so. Yeah, I fucked that up. <laughs> Don't go diagonal in there. It's bad. Bad in there. Hmm. Oh. Oh my God! Again. I'm using the momentum from those blocks, like alternating. Medius level's good. <laughs> it's really well made.
Uh... Yeah, fuck that. Okay. I think I get it. Oh, wait, no, I still probably could have done that, actually. So I can do this. Yeah, yeah, so I need to dream grab. Go through dream jump. Uh, um, there we go. Go through there, up to that one. That'll push one of those across, do the same on the other side. Nice and easy bit. I think this is victory lap. Yep. Again. Genuinely super impressed by that level. That was fucking great. You have the patience of multiple popes waiting in a queue for a kebab outside a nightclub at 3 a.m. out of rage quit ages ago, Master Malfoy. I was uh, well enjoying that. That was great. Um, Morbo. When I played this before, we did uh, what is called the seasides, which are like additional challenge levels. And uh, one of them took me seven hours and it was one screen. So that in comparison <laughs> was, was not a problem. As it turns out, can totally deal with that. Okay, how's this going? Oh, we get stickers for all the levels. That's nice. Alright, we need to go find cassette cliffs. We've done a couple on this page as well. Let's go to the, uh, the bench and have a look and see. There's quite a few down there. Uh... Let's go to... Let's go to that one. Then let's just have a look. Down... One below the book. Okay. Alright, what level be you? Oh god. Apparently a very hard one. But you know what, we haven't done any hard rated ones yet, so maybe we do this one. Or I could... Maybe I could go have a quick look in here and see if there's anything else. Seven hours. I don't think I've done anything for seven hours except sleep, maybe shower and cry. <laughs> Let me tell you a little thing called Jump King. This is a slug cat, I'm pretty sure. Slug cat reference from Rain World. Speaking of uh, Jump King chat, that's uh, something I have to do again this year because I make bad decisions for charity. You really want to play Rain World. Do you like really difficult games? Because uh, that is on my list of things I would like to play on a Tuesday at some point, but it is uh, super fucking difficult. Rainworld does not care for its its players' survival. Oh, this is a very vertical level, huh? Going through that gives me extra dashes, huh? Interesting. got a whole working ecosystem yeah it's uh it's procedurally generated um like worlds and stuff as well from what i understand um
Or is it no? Procedurally generated enemies. I don't know if the worlds are. I assume they might be. Oh, this is a cool looking level. We are being like, this is a visual treat. Um, this mod so far, I will say, because like th there are themes, but they're like individual level themes. Nice. Is there a door or something up here? No. Okay. I'm seeing these orbs that are different. I think they're just showing that they go up. Oh, that's just... Oh, I see. That's weird. That's where she goes to. That's where Badlin goes to. Oh, that's tricky. Okay. If I'd have took one extra jump up there... Oh, that was a long way to fall back, huh? Oh! Oh, I jumped and that fucked me. Hey, there we go. Oh, the music. That bass just dropped in and it was disgusting and I love it. Oh, listen to that synth bass. That dirty, dirty synth bass. Alright, okay. I think that gives me, yeah, that gives me the extra boost, right? So, probably need to jump, though. Hmm. Well, I guess I didn't need to jump, actually. But I do need to do a max distance dash. Sideways, please, analog stick. I beg. Oh, that's... Okay, maybe... Maybe I should... Actually, maybe I should jump because, uh... Momentum. I think we're already into a wind level. Well, I that was weird. I was expecting to hit the thing. I didn't. Got strange. Nice. This, uh, this soundtrack is something else already. I need to go 
diagonal up from the bottom of that one. Gonna lurk and you're sleepy, no worries, Neil. Get some good rest. It's probably good for a jump, that one. Lower and then jump. Diagonal up. That was diagonal all the way. stick that's supposed to be diagonal left no no I supposed to do that? Am I just supposed to hold back the other direction and hope for the best? Dash down? Dash down. Figure it out eventually. I think these are blocks that disappear from from memory in some of the other levels, so they might do the same here. Uh oh. That's not good. Yeah, so I want to sideways dash and grab that one. Or upward stash and grab that one. Gotta grab it though, or I'm dead. Give me a checkpoint. You son of a bitch game. That was mean. I thought we were done. Took my finger off the trigger for a second. this fucking song. That snare is real good. Damn it. If you don't commit to that, you're done. No! You have to dash instantly. <laughs> Those were two diagonal dashes that were supposed to be just straight up, by the way. You son of a bitch!
How do I keep doing this? I keep fucking hitting the dash when I come out of that one. I don't know why. It's really not helping me. All fucked. Oh, diagonal again. I mean, I got no one but my fucking self to blame for that. Like, I could be using the D pad, but I hate doing diagonals on a D pad. Oh my god. I don't even know what's further up. Like, I'm hopefully not much. Okay, nice. Now what? Oh, it's there. I see. So we go one up and then grab. Into there. Okay. Alright, nice. Down dash? Down diagonal dash, okay. It's not down diagonal, is it? Oh no, wait, no, I get two dashes there. Maybe I don't need to do down diagonal dash. In fact, this is D-pad level for sure, but will I learn that lesson? That's the real question. Only needed one dash there. Oh, that's good though. Sideways? And then down? Ooh. This has been a pretty tricky one. Mouse. Oh, wait, no, it's cat. Pet the cat! I think we're in a victory lap now.
That was a tough one. But not that long, so... I did miss, um... I did miss a strawberry somewhere, apparently. I didn't see any secret rooms, but then uh, I guess that's what makes them secret. Wouldn't be much of a secret if they were easy to see. The Squeeze by Snash. I don't know who that last one was. I forgot to read out the name, but that was a good level. All right, Snaz, let's have a look at the Squeeze. Oh, fuck. I see what the Squeeze is. I get it. We're going for a lot of one pixel gaps, folks. Man up energy drink. Wait, was there an energy drink advert? At the start. Oh, I missed it. I think I can go back there now. This is an interesting level because it's like... This is probably where I absolutely should switch to using a D-pad though. Because, um... Like, this seems to be almost exclusively using cardinal directions. Another good song. I mean, I know, like, I'm gonna be gushing over this stuff, like, over and over again, chat. ran out of uh, grip there, so I just took too long to go. I almost tried to do neutral jumps there. So there is a thing you can do, by the way, chat, called neutral jumping. Is uh, a bit of a more advanced technique. You don't need to do it to pass through most of these levels. But I know how to do it. That's neutral jumping. So, it allows you to jump up walls without losing stamina. But it's very difficult to do. You have to jump off the wall with no input, then put an input in to jump back onto the wall. It just make more sense for me to use my dash here, because there's a dash refill. Oh, that's rough. A little bit. That is such a small gap. Like, I'm assuming there's a setup for it, like there is the rest of this level, but fuck me. If you don't see the setup, you're screwed. Like, where is the setup for that? Is it above? Oh, it's the block above. Oh, I see it. Okay. Got it. Why did I let go?
Oh. That is not the setup for that. Okay, I see it. It's an interesting level because it's mostly just kind of... It's not playing itself, but it's like... Um, you will succeed if you let the level do the things automatically. As opposed to like trying to do them yourself. Like here, if I jump up to this, that'll let me drop down to there side of this block is going to let me drop down to that. He says, and it fucks it up. I just let go. I don't even know why I let go. So if you let go of any momentum, then you're fucked. That's the one thing here, is you, you need a lot of grip strength left for a lot of these maneuvers. Okay, that was it, but I needed to go up. Son of a bitch, I've seen it now. Okay, I think I get it. If you can go quick enough, I think you can probably just do that. We need to get on one side of it. Jump over to the other side and drop through. There you go. Whew. That was tough. Dash up there. Ow! My brain! I lost my dash somewhere I shouldn't have done because I was kind of left without any resources there to do anything. supposed to drop down onto it. I see it now. Uh, mm. I will say this, um, Flower has uh, given me like a tier list thing to rank these levels by, which I'm going to try and do. I will say, um, this type of level is not my favorite type of level. Like, where it's very mechanically driven by, like, one specific sort of moving piece or whatever. Because sometimes if that moving piece is not as fun to do as others. It can be a little bit, a little bit rough. Like, I don't really like these blocks. Um, I, I don't think it's a bad level by any stretch, but it's not my favorite type of level. Let's put it that way. I don't think I've come across a bad level in this yet.
That's cruel. It starts me all the way back at the start as well. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, this uh, this level is very reliant on like uh, climbing and these one block. This one block that I'm not a massive fan of, and that's going to differ from person to person, I think, because there are probably people who like this block mechanic more than other block mechanics. But for me personally, I'm not a huge fan of this one. Oh, I dashed twice. Oh, I can't dash there. Oh, fuck me. So I just have to have enough grab left in me. And apparently I didn't get the uh, crystal there, so that's good. It's not good. A lie. It's bad. Like, it almost feels like this level was something that had, like, neutral jumps in mind, but then them out. What? Grab! Why you no? Why you no grab? Yeah, I'm already running out of grip here. Oh, we made it. Oh, thank God. And that was the end of the level. So that was by far the hardest bit. Which makes sense. Still wasn't, like, too long, though. Didn't I would say it's welcome. I enjoyed it, just not as much as some of the others. Purely for the mechanic of it. Still, interesting level. Alright, there's a bench. Okay, where are we at? Mm. Oh, I see a level over there. We go all the way to the right, and then up in a little crevice. I can do that. Alright, what we got? Potential for Anything by Benjamin Jammin and Frozen Flygon. Oh my god, they made a VVV level. <laughs> That's incredible. Welcome to the Victor 6. Or VI space station. Yeah, this is V V V V V. Our gravity stabilizers are currently experiencing technical difficulties. We apologize for the inconvenience. For anyone who doesn't know, there is a very cool Terry Kavanaugh game um, called V V V V V V V. I think it's six V's. V V V V V V. There you go. And, um, the whole crux of it is this. I was trying to do a... I was trying to see if I could do a crouch. Crouch dash through there. I wonder if you can. Oh, you totally can. 
but those things are there to stop you from doing that, I guess. Anyway, yeah, uh, it's a very cool game. The, the whole crux of it is that the gravity is all weird like this. You're constantly flipping between upside down and right ways up. Well, that's kind of checkpointing as well. I appreciate that. I wonder if they've added the um, the infamous room from VVVVV, the one that's like last fucking forever. If you're gonna do a VVVV nod, I feel like you have to do that room. Oh, onto, okay, I see. This is very cool. I see what I'm supposed to do here. Just gotta time it right, there we go. Oh, that's scary. No. That needs to be a neutral jump. Oh, level complete? Nope. Fuck you, level's not complete. <laughs> the test of the hub console system. We don't have anything funny to say at this time. Please come back later. Oh, I see. We've unlocked one area. The free. Oh, shit. This is cool. That's so cool. The only thing missing from this, and I guess it's the... It would be impossible to do in Celeste, is, um... They have, uh, the level names at the top one. V, 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 V. I'm just gonna call it V6. For your safety, please keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the black hole at all times. <laughs> I'll do my best! It's okay, Madeline, you'll be okay. Ah, not if I do that to you, you won't. Oh. This is a delightful little nod, though. Very enjoy. Oh, I see. I think I see what I'm supposed to do there. Or do I? I'm actually not sure now. I feel like I'm supposed to have... Uh... I wonder if I can... Uh... I wonder if I can cheese this. It's gonna get my death count uploads, but... There's a very specific... part that you can jump into... I kind of did it there. Oh, I'm not gonna try it anymore. Talk of flower, welcome in. I feel like we made pretty good progress. I was trying to do a wall bounce off that tiny corner here. Well, mainly because I just don't. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to have, supposed to be doing here because uh, there's too many spikes. But maybe I'm just not committing to that dash enough. But it feels like it's just going to take me into spikes on the other side. And I can't 
get up. Oh, I can just get up there. I'm stupid. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We're good. It's a reason I didn't even think that would be an option. How many levels you done? We'll have a look when I get out of this one, but I feel like we've done pretty good. Oh boy. Like really poorly timed jumps. If I grab that wall, am I safe? No. Okay. Can I jump down with it? I can. I don't know why I thought I couldn't for a minute. It's like this this uh, level is teaching me mechanics that I'm just not doing. That's how you get that, but... Okay, so if I go all the way over there... Uh, can I dash and climb up? How do I get to that one? I need to go across from the other side. I almost want to do that, but I don't. One of my players... Oh, hang on. We had D&D &D Casino episode. was fun. One of my players ended up being a lollipop from a stranger, which made them incredibly drunk. Very good. Mm. I mean, it's obvious I've got to go this way. I missed it. Fucked it. I had it in everything. Okay, nice. Level complete. One more to go. Have you been to Gusty Gardens yet? I don't know if I have. Honestly. Oh, this is how you get out of here, right? <laughs> the fucking gravity... Gravity fucker. Alright, stop trying to cheese it. Warning! Passing completely through white particle grating may remove dash. Now you tell me. They're doing it, aren't they? They're gonna do the fucking level. I was saying, there's no way you do a V6 reference and you don't put the level in. The Vinny, 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 Vici. Whatever level. I reckon they're going to do a nod to it. I'll be shocked if they didn't. By the way, if you haven't played uh, V6, you should. 
great game. Did I just like shortcut a bunch of stuff? That's purely just for this. Also, this is a very colourful room. I didn't shortcut it per se, I just got to see it. Oh, they even give me an out. It's nice of them. Right. I was like, where do I go? Nice. This is a cool level, yeah. Casino episode? How does a casino come into this? Flowers, uh, D D campaign casino. That's what he was talking about. Oh, I'm there. I was like, where am I? I mean, honestly, I wouldn't be shocked if there was a casino level in this, seeing as everything seems to be represented. Man, how do I keep fucking that up? That seems like the easiest bit. Oh, left. That's why all the dash things are there. I get it. Bounce nine times and spin three slot machines to all seven. That would be a, that would be a thing. In the main city, and since some story heavy stuff's happened recently, they've gone to the casino. Really, they were there to get evidence for a court case of doom, and instead they got wrapped up in chocobo racing and claw machines. Your D and D campaign sounds like it's got a lot going on. Like a lot of melding of things. It's a very, very unique setting. <laughs> it's like casinos and claw machines and chocolate racing and whatever else. Court cases. <laughs> Phoenix Wright Fantasy 7. Gambling minigame. Two. Alpha EX Tournament Edition. Fucker. I need to I know I need to go up diagonal dash, but I keep forgetting by the time I get there. There were copyright free chocobos at first, but I said, fuck it. I mean, who's gonna come after you for copyright <laughs> for your TNT campaign? Wizards of the Coast, like these, like, handful of people who are playing DD are about to get fucked. Final Phoenix ra racing all night. Uh. Oh. Thought maybe I could just hold the direction. Which was not the case. Ah, oh, thank God. Level complete! Nice!
I think that's crazy. They're about to go to basically Stone Tower from Majora's Mask doing a bunch of mirror puzzles. Mm. Uh, we got two out of three berries. I'm not going full berries, Flower. I didn't have a look at your thing. I don't know if you got all the berries or not, but I'm basically getting the ones I find, and if I don't find them, oh well. Move on. Next question. No, fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> Good. We're of the same opinion. <laughs> like, it's fun. I don't... I like getting the berries when I find them. But, uh, you know, if I don't find them, I'm not going back into the level to hunt for them or whatever. How many levels you done? I'm about to go show you. Uh, let's go find... Zibuk. So we have done... What have we done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven out of twenty-one so far. All right, let's see. Where's half the battle has been finding them? We've done the Gusty Gardens level, Rose Garden. We fly around the Rose. Yes, the Rose Garden one. That was fun. Uh, you know what? I should just go along the top. I'm bound to find something by the time I get to the end of that whole stretch, right? For starters, I'll find another bench. And another level. Over the City by Coop Critic. This will probably be the last one I do for the night. Sucks they're hard since I really love the aesthetics in a few. Um, yeah, I haven't really. I wouldn't say I've like massively. Oh, I have no dash. I wouldn't say I've massively struggled with any of the levels or anything so far. They've all been like reasonable. But you would kind of hope so, I guess, right? Being that they're the beginner levels. So I have no dash on this one. I only get a jump when I hit. Those things. That is gone now. I can climb, which is nice. Burp. It's be a good place to practice um, neutral jumping, actually. I was better at neutral jumping. But I am not. I can get it sometimes when I get in the rhythm of it. What the fuck? Well, how am I supposed to get over there? Good news, introduce neutral jump in advance lobby, not in immediate. Like I say, neutral jump is not the worst. But I have to get into a rhythm for it. Like, that's not the rhythm. I don't understand what's going on with this level. I'm upset that I don't appear to have access... 
to that area. But I have to go that way. Well, how the fuck do you get over there? So far away and I have no dash or jump. What? Explain, level. You gotta explain yourself. I can't keep these. They go away. Have you tried a reverse yet? I kind of don't know what a reverse is. Like, I think I've heard the term before, but I also don't really remember what it is. I don't... See that top right route's there, in it? I mean, like... Oh, I guess I do it like that. I did see it. I'll be honest, I thought that was going to be for a secret. My brain hadn't really put together that that wasn't where I was supposed to go. Makes a lot more sense, though. Need to do another one of the setups like we had to do on the squeeze. I tried some neutral jumping there. Reverse is where you dash one way and hyper in another. Uh, I think I might have... Maybe I've done that by mistake at some point, but... I don't know that I've ever planned on doing one of those. Fuck off. Why am I now unable to do this? There we go. I don't mind the idea of this level, but having the dash taken away is very jarring. And replacing it with these is not adequate. <clears throat> I like the dash. It's one of my favorite things to do. I guess that's where I use the jump. Looks clunky. Feels clunky. I mean, it's cool that they're again trying something new. This is not a power-up that's in the, the game normally. I appreciate that. And I can't really jump up. That just gets rid of my grip meter so quickly. This feels like another one of those, those levels, like that one we were in before, where I said it feels like it's been made with neutral jumps in mind, but then taken out. Jesus fucking Christ, okay. I think I see secret potential here. You found a nest? Oh fuck, well we're not we're not getting those, never mind that. <laughs> that ain't happening. Okay. The other one didn't come back? Why that one only come back? Oh, look, they showed a little, you need two jumps thing. This song is very somber. 
Hmm. I mean, they want me to keep this the whole way. There we go. You're not getting back there. <laughs> Good, yeah. <laughs> Good. Great. Trying to get like w the idea of what they want from me here, but it's still painful. I was really supposed to jump back on that by then, wasn't I? Xbox can't tell me what to do because I can't read. No, you see, I sadly can read, and therefore the text box tells me exactly what to do, and I have to listen. Can I just do that? <laughs> Mistakes were made. I think I was supposed to jump there, wasn't I? So I have to do that all in one go then. Oh my god. Okay. No! No! Yeah, we did it. Yeah, this uh This mechanic is fine, but it's not my favorite. I got to learn how to do this at some point. So I thought I'd just get a little bit of time practice.
Not bad. Ugh! Yeah, fuck you. For chat, a neutral jump requires you to not hold right when jumping off a wall, and you hold right to go back to the wall and rinse repeat. So basically, what you do is you do a jump without any input, hold to go back to the wall, and then as you land, to do another jump with no input. You can tell the difference between when you're holding against the wall and you do a jump like that, and when you don't. There's a rhythm to it. Once I get into the rhythm, I'm all right. Double jump. Triple jump. Victory lap. No. Definitely not victory lap. God, I miss having my fucking dash. The game really is that much more fun with a dash. <laughs> I hit the jump button. Mmm. Fucking stupid triple jump bullshit. Nice. The wall jump saved me there. I'm gonna need that, right? Feel, or maybe that's just to get the, the nest. No, I need that. How do I get... How do I keep that, though? Have you done the one with the hot cold blocks yet? Uh, I don't know that I have. I think I have. Oh yeah! The gimmick would be better if the level wasn't as long, maybe. Yeah, I could get behind that. Oh, fuck's sake, I keep doing it as well. My brain doesn't, like, think about needing to jump, but I'm just like, I still have my dash, so I'm good. That's not how this works. Did it again. Dash button don't fucking work, though. I think if they're gonna do this mechanic, they should just have you in a dashless state. Because I think visually it's a little confusing. So I say, it makes me think I'm good to go. Like, there's a lot of muscle memory built up around that dash. That I can't just get rid of. Alright, I think I get it. I think after doing these levels, I'd be much better at Celeste Chapter 9 now. flower. Um. Oh, now there are these blocks everywhere. 
that. Mm. Oh, really? Okay, no, we're good. Did I unlock this door? Yes. Again, I say, I feel like this is a level that had neutral jumps in it that got taken out at some point. That's what it just feels like. Nuke, welcome in. How you doing? Ah! There we go, nice. Good, what about you? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. I'm enjoying me some of this, this here Celeste mod. second I step foot on there, it's gone. I press my dash again. I'm trying to grab that edge instead of jumping onto it. Ugh. Whew! That's tough. Do I really need? You've got to be fucking joking. Really? Like I have to keep a fucking double jump all the way up there? Never mind. No, she wasn't that bad. No. Oh. Spoke too soon. Yeah, this uh this level is too long for this mechanic. I feel It's a long time to take like a fundamental part of the game away from you. This definitely, I think, would have benefited from being one of the, like, many shorter ones where they're sort of, like, more like, um, six minutes long, like, 12 minutes long. Like, how was I... Oh, my God. I think I was supposed to get back up there with a double jump, maybe, but I'm also not sure. No, that seems impossible. But I think that's that might be it. Got some good news. I'm on an easy level in advance, and they're already asking for neutral jump immediately into the reverse hyper. 
Again, I don't mind neutral jump to some degree. This is not neutral jump, though. This is, uh, no dash. Oh, I need to keep it down there, don't I? Ah, okay. Right, right, right. That's much easier to do. Or do I? I don't... I don't know. Maybe that gets me over to that of a switch in time to do what though I have no idea if I'm doing it right, like what I need to be doing. Because it feels so unnatural that I just don't know. Like, I really feel like I should be dashing. Like, what the fuck do you want me to do here? game. I don't get what you want from me. This doesn't feel achievable. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. There's a wall to grab there. Right, wall jump. I keep fucking forgetting the wall jump technically doesn't count as a jump. Oh. Can't say I was expecting that. Further down. Okay. Fucking son of a bitch. I like I knew that was gonna happen right at the last second and I'd already let go. Now what do you want from me, game? <laughs> Fuck. Oh, please tell me we're at the end. For the love of all that is holy, my brothers in Christ. Oh, I got my dash back. Yeah, that, uh, that level outstayed its welcome by about 15 minutes. For sure. It's an interesting idea, but that was, it was a bit much. All right, that timer up there is more or less accurate to my, uh, my actual time streaming. Not, not off by much. Uh, we still have a bunch to do in this lobby. 
I think we got about halfway. Let's just have a look. So there's 21 in here. We had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have 9 left in here, and they're all medium and hard um, level. So we'll see how that goes. However, we're sitting, what, 712 deaths currently? Um, 2 hours 52 for my clear or whatever so far. Pretty good. Feeling alright about that. I really want to try that uh, that blindfold level at some point with someone on Discord. I feel like that would be fun. Maybe there's another one of those. If there is, we might do that. We'll see. But anyway, that for now is going to be the end of the Strawberry Jam, everybody. Thank you very much for coming along. We're going to play some more of this um, next week. So you can join me then. Tuesday, 7 p.m. UK time. Stick around for the raid. I'm going to go through what the rest of the schedule is. Thanks for coming along. <laughs>